So in this technique analysis video, we're gonna go over some safety squat bar good mornings that we have Hunter doing here. The first thing you'll notice is that there's chains on the handles of the safety squat bar. And what this does is it eliminates the ability to push or pull on the, the pads or the handles, and he cannot change the position or camber of that bar as he's doing it, so the bar will just kind of stay put, locked into his upper body. And what those chains do is here right now, you notice he's kind of holding them out. You don't have to even hold on. I personally did them the other day without holding at all. I kind of held my hands in my deadlift position to kind of mimic that movement. Now, one thing I want you to look at and watch our hunter's toes. He actually does a great job staying grounded. And so we'll watch this first rep from here. You see how he keeps his feet glued to the floor there. And so now we're gonna move into a second rep. We're gonna move the camera to the side. And you can see the hunter does a really good job initiating with the hips, sitting back, and we'll pause. And that's kind of his bottom position of his good morning. Now this is you know, pretty close to a start of his deadlift. He'll probably be a little bit better. Uh, if he's doing a conventional deadlift, his stance would be in some. So I'm gonna actually challenge Hunter this coming week when he does his sets to actually change his stance up. We'll do some with a conventional deadlift stance as well as a sumo deadlift stance. So this is kind of mimicking his squat stance. So I'm gonna use this not only as a squat builder, but I want him to try to mimic his deadlift a little bit just to see what he thinks and what he feels out of those positionings and what can he can relate to the deadlift. Kind of as we talk through Derek's ability in his upper back with his squat in our other technique analysis video, the most previous one that we just did. So we're gonna see Hunter come up um, and he's doing a great job here in these reps. Now we're gonna move the camera angle behind him actually. And this is where I really wanna look at some things. So right here, I want you to kind of focus on Hunter's mid or upper back, this thoracic spine here in this area. And you know it already has just a slight little curve to it, right? We see that slight little curve kind of like right here, right? And as he goes through this, we're gonna have to play the slow-mo you see how he kind of pretty much stays the same, which is great, that's what we want. If he locks in, we wanna stay the same. Now, I know personally from Hunter's uh, previous lifting that we have some problem with thoracic extension, so uh, him getting extension in this position like he already has in his low back. Now, where does this also uh, limit Hunter is in his front squats. His front squats are limited a lot by his thoracic mobility so we've been working on some thoracic extension. He's actually gotten better on his front squats. We were having a conversation the other day and that has improved a lot. So one thing I wanna see people do or what Hunter to focus on a little bit more is initiating some thoracic extension with these here, especially at the start of the movement. So if we go back to the start of this movement, so right here you can see he's already starting to lose it just a little bit here. So I'd like to see if he can't initiate a little bit stronger through thoracic and not through the lumbar. We don't wanna see an excessive extension of lumbar, but I wanna see if he can extend through that thoracic a little bit more in this rep. And you can see at the very bottom, it's not perfect, but it's great. He actually does a pretty good job about staying pretty straight in that line, he, even though he has that little bit of curvature there. He holds a very good position. So I don't care so much that he is a little bit rounded. I'd like it to be better, but with like, do care about is that he does not change position there, so he stays pretty stable. So we're gonna finish out this rep, and that's it for him on this set of what we got. Oh, do we have one more? We have one more rep. And so we'll play this one in slow-mo, just kind of let it roll, and you can see what I'm talking about there. All in all, a good set, and Hunter's gonna continue to get better, and he's very diligent about working on this stuff, so that's why we're doing this review for him.